Well, a good day to you, my fine, sweet Sonoma fourth grade friends. Lesson three. We'll learn a new pitch today and review some old um, concepts. So first, let's start out. We hold the recorder with our left hand on top. Don't you know it's left up to you to get right down to business? And our right hand on the bottom. Right now, I have my unicorn on top, and I have my bunnies on the bottom. So my unicorn, nee, nee, hop, hop, boing, 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 boing. Those two are playing with each other. So that's what an E is, and an E sounds like this. Did you notice that I had a funny little sound at the beginning? That's okay. It just means I didn't have it in my mouth the right way. Do, 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 do. Now, if I want to play a G, my bunny takes a rest and we have floaty clouds in the left hand. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Some of you may have an easier time playing the G. It's pretty normal. If you have a hard time with the E, make sure you're covering all the holes. You can see in mine that my hands are completely over the holes. My fingers are fairly flat, and the flat, fleshy part of my finger is being used to cover the holes. Don't forget about the back hole. So we've learned two pitches, G and E, and you can echo me right now. mistake there, that's okay. You're probably going to make them too. One thing I haven't talked to you about is moisture in the recorder. I'll be talking to you about a, a way that you can wipe the moisture out when you finish playing, but the best way to do it while we have those out is just to go and suck it up. Suck it up. It came from your body anyway. So we learned several songs. The first that we learned was In and Out, our first GD song. G E G G E G G E G E G E G. So let's all try. Playing in and out together, the light today is not the best. There we go. One, two, ready, play. Watch out for cheeks. You should not have seen my cheeks puffing out. Our second song was Cuckoo, Where Are You? Right here. <clears throat> G E G G E G G E G G E. So when we finger that, G E G G E G G E G G E. Got a little pattern going on right here. Those three measures are the same. This one is the only one that's different. Looking for same and different a lot in music is very important. So let's try playing it together. One, two, ready, play. So I was making sure that I was going do, 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 do. Listen to the way it sounds if I do not do that. Mm. 
not good. Remember, you have to make that do sound and not puff your cheeks out. And it's a great idea to run to the mirror, stop the video, play the song one time and make sure you're not going Okay, now the exciting part. Oh, yes, the new bitch. A, 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 A. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the new pitch, A. Woo! How do you play A, you may ask? Well, your left hand, it gets to float above and rest. But your thumb, you have to use back between the fourth and fifth hole. Thumb stays there. Thumb, you are on duty. Yes, sir. Thumb is on duty. Floating. My ring finger is also floating. So what animal am I playing? You have got it. The boing boing bunny. So we are just going to put our two fingers down. Our ring finger doesn't go behind the instrument. It floats above. It's floating with the flow. So this is an A. I'm going to play one long A and then you can try it too. So you will notice that it is a higher pitch than G. Here's the difference. And it is quite a bit higher than our E. So now I'm going to try some do, 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 do with that A. One, two, your turn. A, A. A, A. What? What? I can't hear you. Bad joke. Let's try playing A, G, A, G. One, two, here we go. Fairly nice. Let's try playing G, A, G, A. Oh my gosh. Radical. What? Yes, you can play G, A, G, A and A, G, A, G. G, A, G, A is next. Let's add an E into the mix. That was G, G, A, A. No, it wasn't. It was E, E, G, G, A, A, E. Did you notice that mistake? Ooh. But remember, mistakes are okay. So let's try this. Let's try playing G, G, A, A. Let's try playing G, G, E, E. Let's try playing G, G, A, A, G, G, E. Let's try playing G-G-A-A-G-G-E-E. -E. Let's try playing G-G-A-A-G. That actually is the first line of the song. Yes. You just did it. Let's try playing the first line of the song. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. I almost made a mistake right there, probably because I'm looking at the camera and not at the music. What's the second line? Let's see, are there any similarities between line one and line two? This starts G, G, A, A, G, G, E, E. There's the difference. And that's why we would say this is an A, B song. Some people might say it's A, A prime because it's not that different. It's right here, G, A, G. 
And that's going to be a distinction that you're going to have to think about because probably you're going to want to play G, G, A, A, G here instead of G, A, G. Second line right down here, G, G, A, A, G, G, E, E, G, A, G. Let's try it together. We'll go G, G, A, A, one, two, here we go. Rest. The song has words. It goes like this. Atka becka soda cracker, atka becka boo. Atka becka soda cracker, out goes you. And it even has a bard instrument accompaniment. Ooh la la. So the whole song is a little long, but I think we can do it. And I'm going to move this right up here so you can see those pitches better. And you can just read the letter names. I think we can play the whole thing. As you can see, there are two beats in every measure. Two eighth notes are equal to one beat. So we'll go one, two, ready, play. See you next time.